give us an update on what's been happening so far. Well, thanks very much, uh, Tumi. Well, uh, we're expecting uh, that uh, big behind closed doors meeting to start any time from now. And that is where uh, they will essentially be concluding um, everything that has been said and uh, done here over the past 24 hours or so. There have several meetings have been taking place, uh, bilaterals between China and some um, of the countries on the continent, business to business um, relations, but also uh, individual business entities and personalities um, having conversations um, with the Chinese around that uh, 60 billion um, dollar investment who exactly is going to benefit how what are the condi conditionalities we heard yesterday that they will range from uh, interest-free loans uh, to specific um, categories uh, of loans that are easier on those that will have to uh, uh, pay back but also that will ensure that uh, um, maximum benefits are actually derived um, from the investment so we will get uh, hopefully a more nuanced um, um, sense of what exactly is uh, going to uh, happen. Uh, the, 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 both the president of South Africa and the president of China uh, will give us a sense in their concluding remarks as to what that nuanced view is going to be, but also perhaps answer that big question because nobody seems uh, to be convinced and uh, the allegation seems to be refusing to go away. And that allegation is whether in fact what we are talking about here is highly skewed or heavily skewed in China's favor. And really, it's not so much of a win-win um, solution that is being worked out here, but we're talking more of a big win for China and uh, maybe some smaller Yana wins um, for the rest of the continent. That question refuses to go away. Hopefully, um, the political leaders, when they conclude in the next few hours after the closed-door meetings, they will uh, give us a sense of what uh, will have gone on. Um, in the next few minutes, uh, the Chinese business um, community, business delegation, will be giving their own uh, 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 sort of a rundown of how they see that investment working, who they believe um, um, they are going to be able to partner with, and where exactly uh, the money is uh, going to go, and whether on their own as China, uh, 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 the, business, uh, the Chinese business community, they will be able to perhaps uh, put in some more money and more resources uh, in addition to what uh, uh, President Xi Jinping announced yesterday. So over the next few hours, that uh, is what we expecting to happen. It's back to you, to me in the studio. Well, thank you so much, William Fogg, our contributing editor, giving us an update live from Santon, right here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Of course, we do know that the China Africa Forum is currently at its closing day. And of course, as we have mentioned, um, the Chinese delegates will be giving their closing remarks, mentioning how exactly um, the partnership between China and Africa will commence moving forward. We've seen a number of African heads of state present in Santon, showing very key interest um, in the partnership between China and Africa. Not forgetting the huge number, 860 billion rand investment, particularly in the infrastructure development. As we mentioned, that will be dissected between loans um, and as far as various other departments that the Chinese and Africa feel need to develop um, Africa as a continent. But of course, we'll be crossing back to Santon. Just a fan, of course, of those closing comments with the Chinese delegates. But let's move on now to other news. Meanwhile, a foreign editor, Sophie Mukwena, spoke to the African Union Commission.